Gentlemen, time has expired. The gentlelady from South Carolina, Ms. Mace, is recognized for five minutes for questioning. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you uh, to my colleagues uh, for having this hearing today. Um, it's sort of surprising but not shocking, or maybe a little shocking even, but uh, for my friends across the aisle, some of the things that I heard them say today, that they're not sure what our objective is here today, that this entire hearing is a waste of time. Um, it's really unbelievable that an increase in crime in our nation's capital would be a waste of time to my colleagues across on the other side of the aisle. Uh, Americans from all across the country travel to the capital of the United States of America to see our nation's founding and its history. And increase in crime is a waste of time. Uh, it's crazy that that's where we are today. And they want to flip the script and talk about D.C. statehood, which is not the purpose of this hearing. And crime has increased not just in D.C., and I would say in D.C. exponentially. What I have witnessed myself has been pretty wild. But uh, it's a problem across the country as well. Mr. Mendelson, did I hear you earlier today, just a little moments ago, say that D.C. is safe and that there's nowhere that's unsafe in D.C.? Did I hear you correctly? I said that D.C. is safe. I feel safe. You know, I'm an at-large representative, and I'm around all parts of the city, and I feel safe, and I typically travel Homicides alone. are up 40 percent from last year. Arson is up 400 percent. Car theft is up over 100 percent. How many cars have been stolen so far well, this year? Well, in my opening How many cars have been stolen so far this year in D.C.? Uh, I don't have the exact number. Right. You know what? It's over 1,300 vehicles have been stolen in Washington, D.C. so far A lot this of that year. has to do with TikTok, you know, and that's a, a challenge oh, around so the country. Oh, so you want to blame TikTok for the crime. Okay, for the that's Hyundais, fine. For the Hyundais and what's the other one? Kias? Kias and Hyundais? I don't, I, that it's the an increase in crime. It's a huge problem. You don't even know the number of car thefts. Over 1,300 so far this year. Some cases, some people say over 1,500. So, Congresswoman, as I pointed out in my opening statement, crime compared to 10 years ago is down 45 percent. Crime last year 1,300 year vehicles, which you didn't down. know the number that had been stolen in D.C., 1,300 so far this year. I'm done with you. I want to go on to Mr. Charles Allen. You stated earlier when you were talking to my other colleague from South Carolina, Congressman Fry, you said that you don't support defunding the police. Is that correct? Correct. That is not my position. Do you think you committed perjury up here by making that statement? The council did not defund the police. Well, have you seen your tweets? Yes. Do you know what you've put on Twitter? Yes. Because I've seen some of your tweets, and I would argue that you absolutely, you personally support defunding the police. Can you find a tweet where I said Yeah, that? I am going to read you some right now. So um, in June, on June 28th of 2020, you tweeted that our strategy is to reduce our force size, force size in a responsible way by turning off the spigot plus adding in natural attrition. What do you mean by reducing our force size? If you don't, if you're not, you don't mean defunding the police. Uh, June 28th, 2020, you also said um, that this is uh, that not everyone disagrees where we landed, but this is the biggest reduction to uh, the Metropolitan Police Department I've ever seen. You don't believe that that's the largest reduction in MPD that that's defunding the police. Does that not count for that? Correct. So the reduction was $9.6 million, which is 1% of a half a billion dollars. Right. Is that budget. defunding? Is that reducing funding for our police force? Is that what that means? Redirecting any amount of dollars to our pu other public safety priorities, that's, that, that is not defunding. No. Well, reducing the police force size, which is what you advocated for, would be defunding the police. Uh, being proud of uh, this being the biggest reduction to Metropolitan Police Department, I would argue, falls into that category. Uh, you said the um, on June 28th of 2020, you also said the district needs to be committed to a sustained effort of funding and defunding. You literally use the word defunding in your own tweets. Um, and that aligns with our priorities and puts our public dollars where they can do the most good defunding. So what are you talking about? Um, you also said on the same day um, that, uh, that this was important to do. And, you know, there's an effort to recall you in D.C. because of uh, what your statements have, have been over the last couple of years. Um, may I ask my last question of you, um, how many hearings have you had on violence in D.C., violent crime, so far this year? I'm not the chair of Judiciary and Public Safety. 
Okay. Uh, I held 250 hearings and dozens and dozens on public safety and violence in our city. The last one was about e-bikes. Do you think electronic bikes are more important than violent crime? I don't think you need to pit them against each other. I mean, why is it, why is an e-bike a priority over violent crime in Washington, D.C.? I personally have seen my own property vandalized up here. So, Mr. Mendelson, I would argue this is not a safe place. Uh, crime is up exponentially. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And now you back. Gentlelady yields.